of that is that the head of the devil, Satan, the serpent, will be bruised. And here it says, now the Calvary has taken place. Now the crucifixion, the crucifixion of Christ has taken place. Now the very God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. It will happen now. I said it will happen now. And when it happens, you will see Colossians chapter 2 verse 15. Colossians chapter 2 verse 15. And I've been spoiled principalities and powers by the result. Bruising the devil, bruising the head of Satan, he spoiled principalities and powers. He made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in each. There is triumph now. There is victory now because of what happened at Calvary. I have victory. I have victory because of the crucifixion of Christ. We're looking at Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death, that's his crucifixion, through death, that was his suffrage, through death, that's what happened at Calvary, through death, he might do what? Again? Did you hear that? I said, did you hear? Say it aloud so we can hear. That he might destroy him when you bruise, when you crush, when you knock the head of someone. You bruise him in the head, you destroy him. And when Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary, here is the result. Here is the outcome. Here is the interpretation of the bruising of the head of Satan, that she might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject unto bondage. You are not in bondage anymore. Now you are free. Enjoy your freedom from today. In John, first John chapter 3, verse 8, first John chapter 3 verse 8. He that committeth sin is of the devil. Thank God I will not be of the devil. I say thank God I will not be of the devil. When your sins are forgiven, when your sins are taken away, when the old man, the body of sin is crucified. And when that body of sin, not only crucified, is given a dead, deadly blow and is taken out of control. And is not sitting on the throne of your life anymore, controlling your life. When that old man, when that body of sin is totally destroyed, it will not have control over you anymore. And you'll stop singing by the grace of God in the stripes of the Lord, by the power of the cross of Christ in Jesus' name. Then does he give you the power to go and sin no more. And your life will be free in Jesus' name. But she that committed sin is of the devil. I pray you will not be of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might do what? Destroy the works of the devil. That's the result of the crucifixion of Christ. That is the outcome of Jesus Christ dying crucified on the cross that she might destroy the works of the devil and every work of the devil on your children, on your family, on your business is destroyed today in Jesus' name. You are free from the works of the devil today. Because of Calvary, your business is free from the works of the devil. Because of Calvary, your family is free from the work of the devil. Because of Calvary, the Lord has set you free. You will never come into bondage anymore. In Jesus' name, Daniel chapter 2. Daniel chapter 2. The bruising of the heel of Christ resolves 
in the bruising of the head of the serpent of the devil. In Daniel chapter 2, I'm reading from verse 40. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as much as iron breaketh in pieces, and subdueth all things, and as iron breaketh all these, it shall break in pieces, and do what? And bruise. To bruise then means to break in pieces. And it means to subdue. It means to totally destroy. Verse 45. And in the days of these kings shall the king God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall never be left to all the people. But it shall break in pieces. Christ has come now. He's setting his kingdom in your heart. He's setting his kingdom in your family. And every power of darkness there, when Christ comes, he will bruise and destroy and scatter every sin of the darkness in your life, in your family, in your business, in Jesus' name. And then it says, the kingdom shall not be left to all the people. It shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. And it shall stand forever. The kingdom of Christ will stand forever in your family, in your life, in Jesus' name. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold. The great God has made it known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. The dream is certain and the interpretation thereof sure. The interpretation is sure. I said the interpretation is sure. Right now, anything of the devil in your own life, in your own family, everything is going to be bruised. Everything is going to be destroyed. Because Jesus Christ died on the cross. And now you come to identify what? Christ in his crucifixion. And that identification of the crucifixion of Christ will transfer power from Calvary and transfer it to your life in Jesus' name. It can happen now. I said it can happen now. Give chance to the Lord and let that crucifixion take effect right now in your life. We're going to stand up and everyone, today we can be victors, we can be victorious, and you can conquer through the crucifixion. Why don't you just open your mouth to the Lord and say, Lord, I've seen what I've never saw, what I've never seen before. I've known now what I've never known before. Resurrection, power, authority coming into your life. This can be, this can be, and this will be the time of the manifestation of the victory coming from Calvary upon your life in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. And say, Lord, thank you for the revelation. Thank you, Lord, for the revelation. Thank you, Lord, for the revelation. What a revelation this is. What revelation this is. The predicted crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as the resurrection of as the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus was predicted, so also your own crucifixion had been predicted. So also the crucifixion of your old man has been predicted and prophesied. Let it happen today. Let it happen today. Let it happen today. Jesus spoke about it. His own crucifixion and going to the cross. And there will the Son of Man be crucified. And the Lord is saying, is calling you to Calvary. The Lord is calling you to Calvary. The Lord is calling you to Calvary. It has been predicted. Let it happen today. Bring that old man to the cross today. Bring that old man to the cross today. That old man, that body of sin, that inbred sin, that nature of sin, that has overbearing influence upon your life. 
that you cry the things I hate that I do. And what I would, I do not. That over-controlling power of the body of sin, bring that to the cross today and participate and identify in the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when that takes place in your life, that old man will be rendered worthless, powerless, useless, and will not control your life anymore. Come to the cross. Come to the cross. Come to the cross. Come to the cross. Let the old man be crucified. Let the old nature be crucified. Let the body of sin be crucified. Don't pet that old man. Don't pamper that old man. Don't tolerate that old man. You need to be free. You don't want the body of sin to take charge of your life. You don't want the imprint seen to be the one that will control and direct your life. You want to be able to have the freedom, the liberty to do what is right. Bring that old man to Calvary. Bring that old man to Calvary and be crucified with Christ today. And be crucified with Christ today. You do that as an individual by yourself, by yourself by yourself. This is your decision and this is your determination that today the old man must be crucified. You won't allow the control of your life. You won't let the control the direction of your life into the hand of the old man. Let it get crucified. From the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, we have redemption. From the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, we have forgiveness. From the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, we have salvation. From the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, we have grace. From the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, we have the forgiveness of God. From the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, we have eternal life. Come to Calvary, come to Calvary, come to Christ. Receive that right now and the Lord will do it for you. Just by coming, just by coming, just by coming. And you can tell the Lord, oh Lord, I come, oh Lord, I come. Conversion, restoration, forgiveness salvation, righteousness, the riches of the kingdom of God, it can come right now. It can come right now as you surrender your life, surrender your heart, surrender everything, the totality of your being unto the Lord. That righteousness can come now, the riches of the kingdom of the glory can come right now to you. Surrender to Him, surrender to Him. Yield yourself completely unto the Lord right now. Visit Calvary. Come to Calvary. Kneel at Calvary. Plead at Calvary and say, Lord, here I am. Here I am. And let Calvary bruise the head of the evil one. Let Calvary crush out everything that is not of God, that is not of the kingdom in your heart and in your life. It will happen. It will happen. Come by faith. Come expecting. Come expecting. Looking unto Jesus. Looking unto Jesus. He bore it all for you. He bore it all for me. And we can come to Calvary. Yes, we can come to Calvary. And let the old man be crucified. Let the old nature be crucified. Let the Adamic nature be crucified so that you can say, so you can testify, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and he gave himself for me. Let it happen now, let it happen now, let it happen now. Come to Calvary. Come to Calvary. Come to Calvary. 
and then for the rest of your life be that crucified man identifying with the crucifixion of Christ for the rest of your life do not allow the old man to rear up its ugly head anymore crucified 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 with Christ spend some time at Calvary don't rush in and rush out behold him see him in your mind's eye see him as he died for you and see him as was crucified on the cross identify with him and see yourself with him identified in that crucifixion test it now experience it now partake of it now participate in the crucifixion of christ let it be an experience for you unforgettable encounter unforgettable experience let it happen let it happen that you are identified with christ crucified identified with Christ crucified and the old man is crushed and the old man is bruised and the old man is destroyed and the power of the old man is neutralized in your life crucified crucified and crushed so that the old man doesn't direct your life anymore. The old nature does not control your life anymore. The works of the flesh, they're all crucified. And you do not tread their ugly head anymore. The adultery crucified. The fornication crucified. And the pornography uncleanness crucified. The hatred crucified, the malice crucified, and the world crucified unto you, and you crucified to the world. A new life, a new life, a new life has not begun because now we're risen together with Christ after the crucifixion. Accept it, believe it, embrace it, possess it. Claim it to be yours, the crucified life. Claim it to be yours, the crucified life. It will be unto you as you believe it, as you accept it, as you embrace it. Crucified. And do you remember what power flows out from Calvary? Do you remember? What authority flows out from Calvary? Do you remember the bruising of the head, the crushing of the head, the breaking of the head of the devil, the destruction of the works of the devil as a result of the crucifixion? Why don't you present every work of the devil in your body, in your life, in your family before the Lord right now? And let all those works of the devil be totally neutralized, nullified, destroyed, gotten rid of from your life. His feet have been bruised already. His feet have been bruised already. The outcome of that, the result of that, the consequence of that, is the bruising of the head of the serpent. Don't allow any serpent to crawl in your life, at your back, in your body, in your brain, in your family, on your children, on your husband, on your wife anymore. God forbid, it should not be again. That serpent's head had been bruised. Don't allow any work of the devil to be supreme, to take supremacy in your life anymore, God forbid. 
because of the bruising of the head of that enemy, of the devil. It is done. Accept it and believe it and embrace it, then you will experience it. It is done. It is done. I said it is done. I said it is done. You are free and I am free. The devil had been overcome. His head had been bruised. And it will not operate unchallenged in your life, in my life, in your family, in my family, in your business, in our ministry, anymore, in Jesus' name. We rejoice together today because we have conquered. We have conquered because of Calvary. We have conquered because of crucifixion. We have conquered every power of the enemy and the devil have been bruised and totally destroyed out of our lives in Jesus' name. Raise your voice to the Lord and say, I've conquered. Raise your voice to the Lord and say, I've conquered. Raise your voice to the Lord and say, I've conquered. And rejoice and celebrate because of that conquering because of that victory and because of that thing that Calvary has done for you and has done for me. Raise your hand and raise your voice and raise your heart unto the Lord. I have conquered, I have conquered, I have conquered, I have overcome, I have overcome. Calvary, Calvary, Calvary has given me the victory today. Yes, it is done. Yes, it is done. Yes, it is done. 